as we move from the Earth to the edge of the Milky Way. Our sun becomes just one more point of light in a sea of light. Pull out even further, and we see the whole of our galaxy laid out before us, spiraling out from a dense, light-filled core. Stars like our sun aren't the only sources of light inside this beautiful spinning disk. There are other spectacular worlds throughout our galaxy, which we know intimately because of the light that they emit. This is the Lagoon Nebula. Visible on a dark night from Earth, in the star cloud of Sagittarius, this cloud of dust and gas may appear beautiful and serene. This is a furnace where new stars are forged. The Lagoon Nebula is one of the brightest nebulae in the Milky Way, all because of a hot, young new star that sits at its heart. A giant called Herschel 36. This star is 20 times more massive than our sun and shines around five times hotter which makes the light that pours from its surface blue. But this is not the biggest star out there. By analyzing the light from countless suns, we have revealed a star that would dwarf even Herschel 36. Seventy-five thousand million million kilometers away. This is Eta Carini. This monster star is over one hundred times more massive than our sun, and burns about four million times brighter, making it one of the most luminous stars in the Milky Way. Light from these worlds intimately connects us to the wider universe. But light can reveal so much more. Because ultimately, through light, we can read the story of the universe. <laughs>